Malone looking for his first hit of the year. Oh. He drives one. Deep left field. That goes Upton. Back near the wall. It's out of here. <laughs> Bartolo has done it. The impossible has happened. This is one of the great moments in the history of baseball. Bartolo Colon has gone deep. The pitch. And a high drive. Hit back into deep right field. Junior has just knocked the door down for the 500 club. A high drive into the lower deck and right. Number 30 touches them all. And boy, what a Father's Day gift for Senior. Getting his 500th home run to right field. What a scene this is here at Bush Stadium in St. Louis. The 20th member of the 500th home run club. Tenth inning, 3-3. Dodgers and Rockies. 0-1 oh to Charlie. Swung on a high fly ball to deep left field. The From the new home of the Atlanta Braves, and MLB now, Network welcomes you to SunTrust Park. Today, the third and, and final the game in this three-game series between the New York Mets and the Atlanta Braves. It's baseball on MLB Network, and it's coming up next. R.A. Dickey gets the starting assignment for the Braves. What do we need to know here, H.R.? Well, Matt, he's coming off an outing he wasn't real happy about. I spoke with him yesterday about it. He just said, I gave up too many walks. So look for a guy in this game to be around the plate more. Here's Juan Ligares. He did not play last night, but clearly back in the starting nine for this one. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. There's a knuckleball giggling at him over the inside corner. Our temperature not quite as hot as we'd expected. 85 degrees, the reading at first pitch. And a ball popped foul to the right side, out of play. Here's another one too. Fastball misses in the dirt as he tried to get him to chase the low one. Well one thing about him he's an absolute grinder at the plate. You can pretty much count on him battling at the plate every chance he gets. Pulled high in the air out to left field. On the move is Markakis. Looks it into his glove and there's one gone. And now a chance to meet the Mets. Thoughts, Dan, who stands out? Well, I'm really going to have to keep a close eye on Brandon Nimmo. His batting average is on the rise right now. And if you look at his last 10 games, you know why. He's hitting over 350 in that span. So he's found his groove. He's hitting just about everything right now. Here now is his Drupal Cabrera. Lifetime against this pitcher. Comes in with six hits in 21 at bats. Two of those hits were for home runs. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. Hit hard but foul. Here he comes again, one, two. And another foul ball. And we're just underway from Sun Trust Park. To two balls and two strikes now. Well, you talk about fighting. He's fouling balls off, fouling them off in a one-two count. He finally took a ball right there. I wonder if he feels more confident or he wants to keep swinging. And here's a ball hit in the air. And this is going to wind up a foul ball. Good sinker that time as he gets a piece and chops it foul at home plate. That was the fourth foul ball in this at bat. He is really making him work. Pitch swung on and hit in the air. Kemp has a read on it. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. Batting third, the left fielder. And Number here's nine. the former first round right draft hand. choice, Brandon Nimmo. Nimmo. He had a couple of hits in that ball game last night. Set to deal. Here's the 3 1. Knuckleball taken inside for a strike. Time for a look at our umpires in this one. Behind the plate is James Kingsley. 
Well, Kingsley's a consistent and fair umpire, Matt. Sometimes he might give a little on the corners, but it doesn't ever seem to impact the game too much. Drilled on the ground is short. Swanson scoops it up. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. Down in order go the Mets. Nothing for the Mets in the first, and after a break, the Braves swing the bat. Stay tuned to MLB Network. Robert Gesellman starts the game on the mound for the third and final game of the series. What's your take on him, H? Well, Matt, he's got real good stuff. He won his ninth game last outing. Uh, he's going for 10 today. And I just think if he can get past the sixth or seventh, he's got a great shot of getting that 10th win. Here's Ender Inciarte. A couple of hits for him in four trips to the plate last night. One and one, here it comes. And he gets a piece here as this ball is fouled away. The one and two pitch. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first out. And time now to take a look at how these Braves are lined up in this one. How do they get back into the win column here, Harold? Well, in this day and age, when so many teams are relying on that long ball to win games for them, this isn't one of those clubs, really. They're in the bottom third in the league in home runs, so they're going to put the ball in play. They're going to try to manufacture runs. They can run into one every now and then, but that's not the key part of their offense. So coming to the plate, Nick Markakis. His average for the year sits in the 280s entering play. And he takes strike three called. Back-to-back -back strikeouts here to open the home first, two away. The main job of the number one and two hitters is to set the middle of the order up with an opportunity to do some damage. So when you strike both of them out, you're putting yourself in a pretty good position to make it through the teeth of the lineup without a whole lot of stress. That gets down and the inning continues. Got the first two guys out and then the three hitter extends the inning. Now it gets a little more problematic. Here comes the four hitter and you're in the stretch. Let's see if you can get out of it. Into the box, Matt Kemp. He swings and sends it on a line to right center. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. So now they'll have two men in scoring position following the two-out double. And this, of course, is a ballpark that yields a lot of doubles as we take a look at the team leaders for the most two base hits this year. And you can see that these guys currently find themselves fourth in the NL in that category. Adonis Garcia digs in now. Trying to cash in here on this two out rally. Couple of men in scoring position with two away. And this ball runs away for ball two. Two and one. These Mets, Harold, as they take the field here today, have got to be considered one of, if not the hottest team in baseball right now. Winners of eight of their last ten ball games. Matt, they're on one of those hot streaks. I mean, everything is going right. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. It's quite possible the humidity has finally taken its toll on some of the fans. More to come on MLB Network Sunday Baseball after this. Coming to the plate now, Joanna Cespedes. And as the season nears an end, he currently leads the league and runs batted in. Two and one now to Cespedes. And a knuckleball and a tough take. It just missed inside. Harold, these Braves, as they begin play here this afternoon, they are in the midst of a pretty bad stretch as they've dropped six straight coming in. Well, they've been on a little bit of a losing streak, but this is why you have veterans. And the veteran pitcher on the mound, he's been through this before. He knows more than anybody. He has to have a quality outing and give his team a chance to win. They need it now more than any other time. He'll try it again, three and two. There's a swing and a missile sent out to center field. Inciarte is on the warning track as he hauls it in for a loud out number one. Time for a look at the majestic defensive alignment for the Braves. And at first base, Freddie Freeman. Freddie can pick it, man. Throw the ball in the dirt. Freddie's coming up with it. And don't be surprised he does a splits on you every now and then. Stepping into the box, Wilmer Flores. 
And as you check out his righty lefty splits, no surprise that he hits better against southpaws than he does against right handers. No score here as we play inning number two. Hit on the ground out to short. Swanson picks it up. Throw gets him two down. Having six. Here's the third baseman, David Wright. He comes into play with a batting average in the respectable 270s. On the ground, up the middle. And the inning will continue as that's through for a two-out hit. So a nice job there to fight off an 0-2 pitch and keep the inning alive for at least one more batter. Well, this is the sixth hitter he faces. He finally gives up a hit, but, man, he's looking sharp today. I think he's going to have a good game. And that brings up the catcher T.J. Rivera as you get a look at his current righty lefty splits entering play in this one. Two out with the man at first. And he'll just make him throw one over here three and one. That's in there, and it'll run the count to full, three and two. All right, three-two count with two outs. The runner on first will be moving, so we'll see what happens. There are a lot of possible outcomes with this kind of play. Count is full. Here's the pitch. Liner towards second. Oh, and a beautiful diving catch there will end the inning as the side is retired. That's as good a play as you're going to see a second baseman make, and he does it to end the inning. Through an inning and a half, no score on MLB Network. Set to get his day started, Tyler Flowers, batting just a notch below 300 so far on the season. Into his motion, here comes the three and one. Grounded down the third baseline. Wright has it. Throws in time, and that's out number one. All right, time for the majestic defensive alignment for the Mets. And at third base, the captain, Captain America, David Wright. I love the fact that he still has great footwork. The first step may be as good as anybody in the history of the game. He can still catch it, but I love that first step. And next will be Dansby Swanson digging in. Hitting a little over 250 coming into action in this one. Here's the one and one pitch. Line softly toward the hole. And that is going to sneak on through into right. It's a one out single. This is when you really know you're on a hot streak. When the ball falls in like that, you sit back Cutting and you just eight. say, I'll take Second it. Baseman, Jace Peterson. Standing in now, Jace Peterson. And this is fouled at the plate. Working for the punch out and the offering. Again, he sends it out of play. All even at two and two. Here it is. And the changeup is way low that time. We could see the runner in motion here on a 3 2 count with one out. There's a pretty good chance he's going to get a pitch to swing at. And if not, it's ball four, anyways. Coming in is Ligaris. He's got it, and there are two down now. Now in the box, R.A. Dickey. And you see that average below the dreaded Mendoza line. Bottom of the second here with no score. Change up just off the black, and it's two and one. This one's blooped out toward right center field, and that's in there. Base hit. That is a big hit right there. When you can help yourself out, a little two out base hit, extends the inning, brings the top of the order up now. In now, Ender Inciarte. High pop up. Cabrera is there for it. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. Two left for Atlanta. We'll move to the third with no score. 
and welcome back to Cobb County Georgia for baseball on MLB Network third inning set to get underway. Now at the plate Rene Rivera hitting right at the one for four pace with a 250 batting average for the season. That knuckleball dances over the inside corner. Now a swing and a ball chopped foul right at home plate. He'll try again one two. Now a swing and a fly ball in Ciarte on the run. He can't get there as it falls in. I really like his approach right there. Took a few knuckle balls, got a chance to measure it. Then he got Measuring. one to his liking, got a base hit. The more you see him, the better off you got to be, right? Into the box now, Robert Gesellman. Now a bunt attempt here. Freeman is there and he has it for the out. The center fielder number 12. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Juan Ligaris. Oh for one for him here in this one. He's set and the 2 1 pitch. Strike two at a pitch that catches the outside corner. That was an interesting pitch, Matt. Look, we're in a double play situation, and everybody knows he's got that hard sinker. Get that ground ball, maybe get a double play. But he didn't throw it. He just threw a fastball. I, I don't know what he's doing right now, but he got it in there for a strike. And that's through for a hit. That's the seventh game he's hit in. Look out. Seven games. That's one week of feeling pretty good. Let's see how long he can make this last. Now at the plate as Dribble Cabrera 0 for 1 here in the early going. Hoping to send him packing pitch on its way. Still hanging with him another good swing to keep it going. He's set here's the three and two slow roller back to the mound. And indeed he'll not even try as he goes to first and that means two men are in scoring position now with two away. Now batting. Digging in for his second at bat. Brandon Nimmo. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Here's the one and one pitch. A knuckleball right over the middle of the plate. Definitely a big pitch coming up right here. He's going to be pumped if he can work his way out of this inning with the game still tied. Ready on one and two. This one's flared out toward left. Markek is coming on, and that retires the side. Two left for the Mets. Home half of the third coming up. No score. Digging in to try it again. Nick Markakis. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Driven down the left field line. Will it stay fair? And now this will get over the wall down the line out there for a ground rule double. Just a great approach at the plate right here. This pitch is on the outer half, and he just goes with it, and he has enough to bounce it over the wall and cruise into second with a ground rule double. Ready for another chance. Freddie Freeman, runner in scoring position here already following the ground rule double. No one out with a runner at second. Squared that one up just a little late. Ooh, that was a good pitch to hit. He wants that one back. He was just a little bit late on it. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And that nearly broke our scoreless tie. Instead, it's a foul ball. He spoils another one and will do it again. The 3 2 one more time. Donnie finally wears him down here as he strikes him out after a nine pitch at bat. 
this has not been a weekend to remember for him. He's just been completely lost at the plate, flailing all over the place. Now that's his sixth strikeout of the series. They've really got him figured out. Into the box, Matt Kemp. He swings and grounds it to short. Cabrera's there. Throw on to first takes care of Kemp as he's turned away for the second out. Riding in once again, Adonis Garcia. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Men on third with two down. Seared down the first baseline. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. One left for Atlanta. We'll head to the fourth, still scoreless. Stepping in, Joannis Cespedes comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. And the pitch on two and one. Three and one. Well, if you love pitching and defense, this has been a game for you. Are you happy with that, Dan? I think this continues for a while, Matt. Both of these pitchers are throwing very well, throwing strikes, having good command of their off-speed pitches. This is going to be one of those low-scoring affairs. Count is full. Here's the pitch. Hit on the ground out to short. Swanson brings it in. Throw to first in time, one gone here in the fourth. Now batting. Now with the play, Wilmer Flores. Wilmer. He's over for one thus far. No runs, three hits, and no errors on the Mets line score so far. Hit to short. Swanson scoops it up. On to Freeman at first, and there are two away now. The third baseman, number five. So two out in the inning with the bases empty for David Wright. Pitching has the upper hand early as we're scoreless in inning number four. Good knuckle ball, and it's a called strike two. Now here's the pitch. Drilled right back up the middle, and Wright's going to have himself a base hit. So a great job on a one and two pitch to keep the inning alive. He's been looking really good. Another now, hit, man. another multi-hit game. This hot streak has been really fun to watch him perform. Standing in now, T.J. Rivera. And when that thing's doing that, forget it. It's one and two. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. Mets leave one. On to the bottom of the fourth now, still with no score. Now to the plate, Tyler Flowers. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Ready with the 1 1 pitch. Outside, 2 and 1. Now here's the pitch. Now a ball fouled down the right field line out of play, so that'll move the count to 2 and 2 now. Here's the pitch on 2 and 2. Fastball swung on and missed for the first out. Yeah, as they say, there's a hole in his swing in that location, so a good job there of exploiting that. That can be real hard for some guys to overcome when teams start figuring out what locations you just can't handle. In now, Dansby Swanson. Got him. Good job of making him chase a pitch for the strikeout there. Yeah, Matt, that's the advantage of getting ahead in the count. You can really force hitters to expand their zone and protect. And when they're in that mode, getting them to go after a pitch they can't do much with becomes a lot easier. Into the box now, Jace Peterson. And he struck him out, his seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. Three up. Three down, three strikeouts. Not too shabby. More baseball on MLB Network right after this. At the plate, Rene Rivera, one for one after a single his first time up.
from the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Knuckleball upstairs, dangerous pitch taken for a strike. The 1 and 2 pitch. Ball 2. Count, two, and two. Into the windup, here comes the 2 2 pitch. Swing and a looper to left. Markakis over to his right. Makes the play one away. Up next for the Mets. Catcher. Robert Digging in, Gisselman. Robert Gesellman comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. No runs, four hits, and no errors on the Mets line score so far. Had nibbled the corner there, but missed two and one. Well, these are just extra pitches that are just going to add to your pitch count. He's not trying to work around him, and no reason to, but sometimes you just lose the strike zone for no apparent reason. Ready on two balls and two strikes. Here it comes. Fooled him a bit as this is hit high in the air towards right center and shallow. Settling under it is Kemp as he tucks this one away for out number two. The center fielder number 12. Here's Juan Lagares. He's one for two in the ball game. Ready to deal. Here's the 1-1. One, one. And a dangerous knuckleball to miss high with. And the pitch on two and one. There's a knuckleball that finds the highest part of the zone. Oh, what a stop on the slide. It's there, and he's out. Mets go down one, two, three. Halfway home, still no score. Stepping in, R.A. Dickey. He starts off the inning against a guy who struck out the side last inning. How did they get to him here? I'm not sure, Matt, that they want to stay as patient. He's been throwing a lot of strikes. They might want to start swinging a little bit earlier in the count. And this is popped foul off to the right and back into the seats. And he lays off it to even the count two and two. Even at two balls and two strikes, here's the pitch. And he struck him out. Strikeout number eight now in the ballgame for him. Boy, he's really on a roll on the hill right now. As we roll through it again, remember, he struck out the side in the last inning, and now he picks up right where he left off by striking off the leadoff man here. Let's see if he can keep this going for a little bit. Stepping in now, Ender Inciarte. Swing and a liner, but foul. Wow, he's cruising right now out there. Four straight punch outs and working on number five. This is on the ground over to first. And he'll step on first himself for the out. The so still nothing against him on the scoreboard Henry here in the fifth Mark as we check out the league leaderboard for Team ERA. And as of right now, these guys find themselves in the number five spot in that category in the NL. Digging in once again, Nick Markakis. And Dan, it seems like this starter is just dominating the game right now. Feels like we're seeing a lot of three up, three down innings. No doubt about that, Matt. Hey, I've enjoyed watching him go about his business, but I'm also interested to see if this offense can figure out a way to get a couple of cracks in his armor before it gets too late. Yeah, that remains to be seen. This should end the inning as it's sent out to second. And indeed it will. He throws him out at first, and the side is retired. Pretty painless half of the inning, all told. We're through five here at the ballpark, and we still have no score. Here now is his dribble Cabrera. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. No walk so far. Here's the 3 2. Swing and a ball sliced foul into the seats down the left field line. Once again, a 3 2. 
There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field, but that'll be off the right field wall. And a nice job to get the ball in quickly. He'll be held to a single here with nobody out. He just sports that ball off the wall, and now the question will be, should he have continued on or not? He thought about pushing it, I'm sure, but decided to play it safe. It would have been close, but I think this time he's probably right in staying at first. Into the box, Brandon Nimmo. He offers at it and hits it in the air to left. And that'll get down for a base hit. Throw won't get him. Well, Matt, that's his eighth game with that hit right there. Eight games in a row of swinging the bat. We've been watching him over this week to scorch him. Digging in to try it again. Joanna Cespedes. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ball game. Spin and a throw back to second. Don't want to forget about him. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. Come on, let's hold them, guys. And that misses two and two. Well, he's having a good amount of success here, Dan, even though he hasn't really gotten a ton of swings and misses. Yeah, but for him, Matt, he's more pitch to contact kind of guy. And obviously, it's working so far. And the way he pitches, it really keeps his pitch count down in tight look out that one sends him to the deck it's ball three Wilmer Flores will be next he's set here's the three and two swinging a ball line hard towards short and that's in there base hit and they're going to take a one nothing lead as the run comes across to score. Well, we're in the sixth inning. We finally get our first base hit to drive in a run. What a pitching battle we're witnessing. Will we see any more runs scored is the question. On his way out to the mound now is the Atlanta skipper. And that will mean the end of the knuckleball here is that's going to be it for R.A. Dickey. He'll wind up lasting just five innings here. Didn't pitch right, all that play. poorly, yet he's gone now nonetheless. Josh Colmenter comes on now in an awfully difficult Josh. situation oh, as there are God. two on here with nobody out. Standing in now, Wilmer Flores. He takes the change up the other way out toward right center. Chasing after it is Inciarte, and he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. Here's the third baseman, David Wright. Lifetime against this particular arm. Comes in with six hits in 16 tries. And of those hits, three of them were of the home run variety. And he'll just make him throw one over here, three and one. Now some action in the Braves' bullpen as they'll stand up a right-hander to get loose. He's set. Here's the three-one. There's a changeup over the outside corner. Great spot with that pitch down and away. He'll be fine coming out of the bullpen in this one if he can keep hitting that spot. He's ready. Now the payoff pick. Now both runners on the move. Swing and he pops him up over toward foul territory. The throw behind the runner at second, just keeping him close. Now a spin and another throw back to second, keeping particularly close tabs on him. Another payoff pitch. And both runners are off again. Line towards center field. And he'll lay out to make a spectacular catch. Wow. Now a throw to first. Doubles up the runner. Tough luck that time as he got stuck in no man's land following the line drive on the hit and run. Mets forced to settle for one here in the inning. Part of the order. Three, four, and five coming up. The Mets lead it one to nothing. Here's the first baseman, Freddie Freeman. He's singled in two trips to the plate thus far. One and one, here it comes. 
There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. And that is off the wall in right field. Legs churning. He's headed for second. And he will pull into second with a leadoff double. When you play with fire, you have to expect to get burned once in a while. He's about as hot as you can get right now. They continue to pitch to him, and he continues to make them pay. Nice double off the wall here. Ready for another chance. Matt Kemp, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. And it looks now like a right-hander's begun to get loose in the Mets bullpen. And now a pitch hit sharply on the ground. But a foul ball. One and two the count now. And here's a ball lifted back toward the stands in right. So we'll try it again at one and two. Again a one-two. Another one sent foul. A runner at second. Nobody out. Oh, he's really got the strikeout pitch working now as he notches number nine in the ball game. He's just bringing up strikeouts left and right. But what's really impressive to me, he hasn't walked anyone either. He's just pounding the zone. His stuff is dirty today. In now, Adonis Garcia. That one finds the target on the outer half. It's one and two. Trying to send him packing for the second time. Push softly over toward the right side. That's in there. Base hit. And the runner from second will stay put at third. So they're runners at the corners now with Down one away. Him. Didn't Catherine. try to do too much with it. Tyler. Two strikes on him. He just bites it off and flips it into right field. Into the box now. Tyler Flowers. A shot down the first baseline. The Braves have been looking for that big hit pretty much all game. It remains to be seen if they can get it, but now sure would be a big time for that. And he misses there, one and two. This is a big spot right here. Two runners on, you got an 0-2 count, you waste one. Now you make it work. Throw one in the dirt, throw one high, make you chase it. And it's a base hit as they finally break through here to tie the ball game at one. Well, that's almost like an old school approach right there. You don't see it very often. The ball's away, he takes it away, and drives in the run. Take what they give you. The runner from third scored easy on that play. Looks like a left-hander has begun to get loose out in that Mets bullpen. And misses badly on a pitch down in the dirt. His pitch count is getting up there in the inning now. He needs to get this frame over with sooner than later, so forcing contact. And the throw is in time to get him to retire the side. Braves will settle for just the one. We're through six full, all tied at one and one. Back here at SunTrust Park, all square at one as we get set to start the seventh. But before we do, let's take a look at the game summary to this point. Now the skipper's on his way out toward the home plate area, and I believe that means we're going to have a double switch here. Your Chaz Rowe is in out of the Steve bullpen James now as he'll Atlanta. be inserted into the now number six spot six following spot. the double switch. Number 51. Kurt Suzuki Chaz is into the ball game as Rowe. well as he'll slide into the now pitcher's spot, the hitting ninth spot. now on the double number switch. 24. Kurt Stepping in and ready for another shot, T.J. Rivera. He's 0 for 2 with a strikeout in this one. Ready with the 3-0 pitch. Takes a high fastball for a strike. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. A high fastball is in there. He's set. Here's the three and two. And he lays off. Ball four. Now the potential go ahead run is on base here. Into the box. Rene Rivera. One for two on his line so far in the game. The 
set and the one one pitch hit in the air out to center field chasing after it is in Ciarte. he's there and records the first down and he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up now batting the pitcher Robert Matt Garrett Reynolds will come on to pinch hit here in a big match. spot number 15 Matt Reynolds Hit to third. And that finds its way through for a base hit. Well, he hit that ball hard right there. I think he got a little bit lucky. If it's at somebody, the probably a double play ball, ball instead of a single. Lagari. Stepping in now, one Lagaris. And he comes back with a fastball, one and two now. Skied into straightaway right. Kemp has a read on it. Two gone. Digging in and looking for more as Drupal Cabrera. Two outs and two runners aboard here in the seventh inning. Two men are on with two men out. Now a fastball, but that's easy to lay off, and it's back to even at two and two. Good lead off a second there. Now the pitch. Hit hard. Now a ball rolls softly to second. He's got it. On the first, and the Mets are going to come up empty here as that ends the inning. Two left for the Mets. Score remains deadlocked at one. Jerry Blevins gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seven. Jerry Blevins. Now in the box, Jace Peterson. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. The 1-1 pitch. Fouled back. Ready on 1 and 2. Struck him out, so he's set down on strikes for the second time today. Standing in, Kurt Suzuki. He's newly entered into the ball game, so this will be his first trip to the plate here in inning number seven. And this one's chopped foul right at home plate. One and two, here it comes. Now a swing and a hard hit grounder, but this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Here's another one, two. Now a ball hit fouled off to the right and up into the crowd. Another 1-2 delivery. Grounded to right at third. On to first, and Suzuki's retired two away. Center fielder number Here's two Ender Inciarte. No hits in three Inciarte. tries so far. He's struck out once. Bases are empty here with two men out. Bounced weakly near the plate. That winds up foul. Pulled toward right center field. Cespedes is there. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. Braves are set down one, two, three. Still tied one apiece. Arotis Vizcaino has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Arotis Vizcaino. And here's the former first round draft choice Brandon Nimmo and this tie ball game is a battle of the bullpens now and I'm sure you're enjoying that Dan bullpens are such a big part of baseball now Matt all these teams have such good seventh eighth and ninth inning guys it all boils down to whose bullpen is better that's in there on the outer half one and two now well these hitters can expect to see a heavy dose of that big fastball from this reliever. It's a major part of his arsenal. Low with a fastball that time. Two balls and two strikes.
Set to deal on two and two. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Oh, and he can't come up with it. And they'll have no play as he reaches first base safely. Well, it's late in the game, but I tell you what, a leadoff single, that's right what you fielder. want to start the late innings. Now it sets you up to be able to manufacture or do some things and maybe get that run home. Ready for another shot now. Yoannis Cespedes. He's working on a one for three thus far. Nope. Lays off two and two now. Didn't catch the corner there, but you can see he was trying to jam in with that running action on that two seam fastball. He's set. Here's the 2 2. Hit on the ground to third. Scooped up to second for one. On to first. And you can forget about the go ahead run being on base. He's erased on the double play. Wilmer Flores. Digging in once again. Wilmer Flores. He flew out in his last at bat. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. And he lays off for a ball, two and one. And he fires a fastball now for a called strike two. Ready on two balls and two strikes. Here it comes towards second. Throw in time and the side is retired. Nothing doing for the Metropolitans. Score remains tied one to one. Coming to the plate now, Nick Markinkis. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Ready to deal. Here's the one one. And he looks at one in there, one and two. Oh, that's for sure going to be a pitch he wants back. You're not going to get many balls right in the wheelhouse from a top-level arm like this. And that'll get through into center. So there's your possible go-ahead run on base now to lead off the inning. Two strikes on him, and he flips one out the center field. Five. You couldn't have thrown that Freeman. any better. Freeman. Trying to pick things up where we left off. Freddie Freeman, his prior history in this matchup, seven hits in 13 tries. Go ahead, runs aboard here at first with nobody out. And now a pitch hit sharply on the ground. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. Full count, here it comes. Good swing on a tough pitch, and he'll stick around to see another one. The next 3-2. Hit back up the middle. A step on the bag for one. Back to first, and Freeman's gone as well. It's a double play. Good pitch on the ground ball there, and an even better job up the middle to take it himself and turn two. Pretty smooth. Standing in now, Matt Kemp. And he pops it up back behind second base. Flores is there for it, and the inning is over. Former cover boy David Wright leads things off when we come back. All tied at one and one. Striding in once again, David Wright is looking for hit number three here in this at bat. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. Leaves a slider right over the middle. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. To two balls and two strikes now. And that one never threatened the zone. It's gone full now to three and two. So he threw the slider darting away to him two times in a row. Now I don't think he'll go for it again. I'm looking for something hard inside on this pitch.
ready to deliver the full count pitch. And a good battle continues as this ball's chopped foul at the plate and the count remains three and two. And he's just going to make him throw as many pitches as he can as he fouls another one away and it's still folded three and two. Payoff pitch one more time. Line to the right side. And Wright's going to have himself a base hit. So it's a leadoff single that kicks off their half of the ninth. And he's going to get to second now with nobody out. That's actually a pretty good pitch. Gets it inside, and the batter just is really strong. Fought it off and just flipped it in the outfield the other way. And that brings up the catcher, T.J. Rivera. And he could very well get the intentional pass here as that would set up a potential double play ball that might keep the game tied. Up high, two and one now. Go ahead, runs in scoring position here with nobody out. In there, two and two. Here's the 2-2 pitch. Swing and a miss as he couldn't connect on the two-seamer, and that's out number one. Got him with a good high fastball there. Danny, we see a lot of that pitch in strikeout situations these days. What makes it so effective? I think, Matt, what makes it such a tough pitch is you're changing eye levels. That fastball up looks so enticing to hit that you think you see that ball as a hitter. Do you think you can drive it? But it's really hard to get on top of that good high hard fastball. In now, Rene Rivera. Freeman backs up and takes care of it. Two away. Now we're going to have a conference at the home plate the area, so it would appear that we'll see a double Jerry switch here. Levin. Ian Cole will come on to take over on the mound Atlanta. now, and he'll hit in the now third pitching, spot in the lineup in the spot. as a part of the double Number switch. 26. Sean Ian Rodriguez Cole. is into the ball game now as well as a part of that aforementioned spot. double Number switch as he'll take over in the number six spot number in the lineup. Gavin Cicchini will be called upon here to hit with the game on the line. Go ahead runs in scoring position here with two down. Eight. Takes a look at one catching the outside corner. Well you wouldn't have expected this kind of a bat out of him but he's fought himself right back with an opportunity now to really drive in two runs. There's a ball into right center field. That's going to be a base hit. Wright is digging for home. And Kemp's going to need to play this off the wall now. And that'll score the run from second as they jump in front now, two to one. The tag, and he is out at third. And with that, the side is retired. Mets forced to settle for one here in the inning. Five, six, and seven will lead things off in the bottom of the ninth. The Mets lead this one two to one. A.J. Ramos is the man now called on to close this one and earn a Number save in the ninth. A.J. Ramos. Adonis Garcia digs in now. Head to head against A.J. Ramos. One for five. Now a ball hit pretty well to left, but this is going to wind up in the seats foul. Here's the one and two delivery. Swing and a miss, and that'll get a groan from the home supporters here. One away. Well, we've seen some really good pitching from these guys in this one. The bullpen has looked sharp and have backed up a nice effort turned in by the starter. These days, pitching has become a full staff effort, and I've been impressed with the job these guys have done so far. Now a swing and a ball popped high in the air over toward foul ground, and this is going to wind up a foul ball. The one two offering looked like a slider that time but it's two and two 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 here it is here's a blooper out toward left center in there a base hit he'll get it into second not in time and he's in there with a double now that's the at bat they needed bases empty one out down one in the ninth he's got to find a way any way to get on base and he does more than that getting at the scoring position here we've got a great finish on our hands guys 
And now with the possible time run at second here, we're going to have a pinch runner as they try to get a little more speed out there. And next will be Dansby Swanson digging in. He'll go to work on getting that tying run home from second. Here it comes, 0-2. And, and a fastball blew it right by him, and there are two down. Hey, anytime a pitcher locates a fastball on the inside corner, the it's going to be a eight, tough pitch to hit. Baseman. That one was spot on, Chase and he Peterson. had no answer for it. At the plate, Jace Peterson. Been a rough go of things at the plate for him so far, but his guys are looking for him to change that right here. Yeah, nothing better than coming through for the boys in a tight game, Matt, especially when you're kind of due to do something productive. Now a ball lying to the right side, and that's in there. Base hit. Bonifacio rounds third and is striving for home. The runner scores from second. Well, Matt, he drives in the tie and run at the bottom of the night. Nothing but like that. You can try to match it in practice. You can't do it in the game because of this. Listen to this crowd. They're going crazy. Into the box, Kurt Suzuki. Fastball called strike, one and two. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Waiting on it is Nimmo. And that retires the side. So this game will not end here in the bottom of the ninth as they push across the equalizer and we're right back where we started from. 10th inning coming up, and we are tied 2-2. Ronnie Mustelier is going to come on as a defensive replacement now, now as he takes over at first base. Number 73. Ronnie Ready once Mustelier. again, Juan Ligares. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one-for-four day. And he comes back with a fastball, one and two now. Hit on the ground out to short. Swanson ranges to his left. Throw to first, gets him one out here to lead off the 10. The shortstop of the 13. Digging in the switch hitter as Drupal Cabrera. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. And a check swing. Did he go around? No, says the first base umpire. It's ball one. Ready on one and two. Line drive to left. And Cabrera's going to have himself a base hit. They've left a lot of men on base. They've had plenty of opportunities. And here's another one. After a base hit, they find themselves with another runner on. Let's see if they can bring somebody home this inning. Stepping in now, Brandon Nimmo. A swing and a miss for out number two and a ball he had no chance of making contact with. Pretty standard pitch sequence right there. Just how you draw it up in a perfect world. Jump ahead 0-2 oh, and, and then you toss a change up in the dirt to get him to chase for a strikeout on three pitches. If only it were always that easy. Standing in now, Joanna Cespedes. And a strike. Threw him a breaking ball that time, 2-2. Two and two. That's pretty good break right there, breaking all the way across the zone. That's a little dangerous. He gets to see that ball a long time. But, man, that's a nasty snap dragon hook right there. Yeah, I think that's the idea, Matt. But he might spin the win if he starts looking for it in there. Ready with another two-strike offering. And there's one well above the zone for a ball. There's certain situations where things just have to happen. And this is one of those. Like it or not, he's got to challenge him right here. Hit hard back up the middle. That's through for a base hit, his second of the ball game. And now this is bobbled out in center. And he'll make it up safely to third, so they're at the corners now with two men out. Three, two count, two outs. Everybody knows the runner's going. Put the ball in play, and he did. Now you're sitting first and third with an opportunity to drive that run in. In now, Wilmer Flores. 
Oh, and he leaves the fastball up there. Mistake in location. He is going to pay for it dearly as that ball is sent over the wall. A home run. So a three-run shot to left center. Eighth home run on the season for him. And just like that, it's now a 5-2 ball game. I know height sights 20-20, but you can't throw that pitch to that guy. Don't forget, he homered yesterday. So you know he's locked in and ready to roll up there. We'll see if he learns from that mistake. Your attention, please. Now New pitcher set to take over the hard throwing right hander Blaine Boyer. Blaine Boyer. Into the box, David Wright. And here's a slider that runs inside that time, and that'll keep him from diving out over the plate. Into the windup, here comes the 2 2 pitch. Grounded to short. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. So they pick up three runs on three hits, including the home run. No errors, and no one left. So now we'll see if these guys can get even in the bottom of inning number 10. Mets out in front, 5-2. to two. Now with the plate, Ender Inciarte. 0 for 4 with a strikeout thus far. Action in the Mets' bullpen now. It's both a lefty and a right-hander that start to throw. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. Oh, he definitely got away with the changeup right there. He hung that one. But the good news is he got him to pull it foul. Now you come back after him here with another pitch. Boy, he tried to get a little cute right there, a little two-strike changeup. He thought he might get a swing and miss, but man, he left that in the zone. He's fortunate that ball didn't leave the park. Now that's that old school slider right there, trying to get in on his hands. We see that with a cutter a lot, but the slider's even more effective because you can't pick up the spin. And he needed Those extra innings to get 22. it, but there's his first hit of the game, and that'll keep the hit streak alive and kicking. Well, he had a lot of opportunities. You knew eventually he was going to get a hit as hot as he's been, but to extend that streak, what a remarkable streak he is on. Stepping in now, Nick Markakis. And Markakis lays off here. It's 2-1, head-to-head -head against A.J. Ramos, 1-6. for six. Hit sharply on the ground to the left. And that gets through a base hit. He's three for five. Well, another single. Now they're first and second. They've been swinging the bat great all day, but they haven't come up with the big hit to break an inning open. Maybe that's coming. Chase Darnot will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Number 23, Chase Darno. And this is Pop fouled off to the right and back into the seats. None out, runners at first and second. Chopped weakly to the left. And he indeed takes only the out at first as the runners move to second and third with one away now. So here's Matt Kemp now. It was a fly out for him in his last trip. Now Kemp awaits the 1-1. One -one. On the ground to the left side. Played on the backhand. In to score is the runner from third. It's now a 5-3 ball game. Infield single, as innocent as it may sound, that might be a rally starter right there. Stepping in, Adonis Garcia. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. Hansel Robles takes the mound to try to get out of this mess. There are two on with only one away. Ready with the one and one. A high fastball is in there. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Line toward right center. That's in there. Base hit. And a good throw is going to hold that runner at third. So they're loaded now with only one away. Here. 
Standing in now, Ronnie Mustelier. Now a ball swung on and heading for the stands in right, and that'll move the count to one and two now. A drive to left. Get out of here. Get out of here. Gone. They win it. Santa Maria. So he promptly unloads the bases with that one. And with one swing of the bat, this ball game is over. Man, I guess a regular walk-off wasn't enough for him. So he blasts a grand slam in the final of bat to win this thing. I've seen a lot of things in my day, but that was something very special. really helped carry them to victory here in this one and this man was a big reason why he's our tops player of the game hey when you walk up to the plate and hit a walk off tater you're probably going to be the player of the game and that was a clutch swing of the bat and he'll be riding high on that one for a while i'm sure Seven to five, how today's comes to an end. The Braves get the win after banging out 16 total hits. Blaine Boyer earns the victory in relief in this one, his seventh of the year. So that'll just about do it. For my partners, Harold Reynolds and Dan Plezak, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching a presentation of MLB Network. So long, everybody. The final line score for our ballgame this afternoon for the victorious Atlanta Braves. Seven runs on 16 hits. One error. They left eight runners on base. That is cranked. Deep left. Gardner leaps. Did he grab it? He did! Oh, what a grab by Brett Gardner! To rob C.J. Crone of a long ball. Wow. You betcha, Tyler Clifford. The long pause. Now the kick. Here it comes. Swing and a miss. Swing and a miss. He struck him out with a slider. He has tied the major league record for strikeouts in a game with 20 strikeouts. Randy Johnson, Kerry Wood, Roger Clemens, and now Max Scherzer.